Introducing the Hingemate series by Milescraft. These template kits allow for the mortising of doors and jams for hinges, strike plates, and latch plates. Milescraft offers three complete kits to cover your specific needs. The 1213 Hingemate 300 will complete door hinges, strike plates, and latch plates and comes with the needed router bit. If you are looking for a slight upgrade, you can purchase the 1220 Hingemate 350, which will include everything that is in the 1213 model, but come with a hinge bit and a corner chisel as well. These two kits will give you everything you need to complete your mortises on your door. If you are only looking to complete your door hinges, then you will want to purchase the 1214 Hingemate 200, which will also come with the needed router bit. To route mortises for a new hinge installation, you will need to first measure the thickness of your door. Included in every kit is a layout sheet that tells you exactly where to mark your lines based on the size of your door. You will first need to set the plate cams to the proper door thickness setting. And then, based on the door size and the layout sheet, mark the door where your center lines need to be. You will need to measure the thickness of your hinge plate. Templates in this kit can be set to cut a quarter inch or five eighths inch radius. Depending on your hinge's corner radius, set the template into the template frame and press it firmly until it seats into place. Line the pencil line up with the grooves on the black template and screw it into place using the provided screws. Now you will need to set the provided router bit to the same height or thickness as the hinge plate thickness. It's always a good idea to test this on a scrap piece of wood before cutting too deep into your door. Once everything is set, slowly plunge the router into the door and let the bearing follow the inner profile of the template. Move the router around inside of the template until you have removed all of the material. You should be left with a smooth and cleanly cut pocket that matches your hinge profile. Remove the screws holding the template to the door and check the depth and fit of the hinge to the pocket. If you have the 1220 Hingemate 350, you can use the provided hinge bit to pre-drill for your screws. If you have any other kit, these hinge bits will need to be purchased separately and can be found on the Milescraft website. Repeat this step for the remaining hinges. If you require square hinges for your project, you will first need to rotate the template in its frame. This will allow you to remove more material from the corners. The Hingemate 350 kit comes with a corner chisel that will score the corner of the mortise. Simply line the chisel up with the corner and strike it with a hammer, and then using a chisel, you can clear out that material. This corner chisel can be purchased separately as well if needed and can be found on the Milescraft website. The process for strike plates and latch plates is the same as the hinges. Mark your locations and line up the template. Screw it into location and route the mortises. Be sure to verify the proper mortise depth with a scrap piece of wood before cutting the door or the jam. Milescraft offers templates for two standard sizes of strike plates and three standard sizes of latch plates, so be sure you are using the correct template before routing. Using this template kit leaves screw holes in your doors and jams. You can easily fill these with putty or wood filler prior to paint and finish. You can also use the template kit to recess existing hinge pockets. Remove the door from the jam and remove all the hinge plates. Measure and line up the template and route the same as you would with a new door. Be sure to check your bit depth before you route. Once you've finished routing, you can rehang your door. The kits can also be used to route hinges on existing door jams with or without stops. If your door jam has a stop on it, there are two ways to complete this. The first way would be to place shims on the back side of the template frame so that the lip of the template frame rests on the stop. The shim size will depend on your specific stop. The second way would be to remove the cams by loosening the set screw located at the back side of the cam. This method will only work with stops that are less than 3 8 of an inch thick. This method is rarely needed but can be used. No matter which method you choose, always ensure your bit depth is adjusted accordingly. When it's time for your next door installation project, be sure to check out the Milescraft Hingemate series.
Milescraft, always the better idea.